Now, the chaos at the U.S. southern border now has some competition from the chaos in Washington, D.C., where the Biden White House's attempt to push through a phony try at quote-unquote fixing the border has fallen over in a heap after Republicans and a handful of Democrats voted against it. But while that border bill has gone away, the problem of the border has not. The border crisis, which has made itself felt in every major Democratic-run so-called sanctuary city, from New York to Boston to Chicago to San Francisco, is now a national issue. And it is safe to say that this is exactly the ground Trump wants to fight the election from. Just check out his new campaign ad. Six men have been charging that brutal attack caught on camera. A shocking act of violence. Two NYPD officers beaten in Times Square. All of those arrested were released without bail. Why did these four individuals be released on their own recognizance? The Biden administration is fighting to release as many migrants as quickly as possible. I'll reverse Trump's detrimental asylum policies. There's no need for us. Biden administration reversed Trump's policy on remain in Mexico. Joe Biden to stop construction of the border wall. It's a new day on the southern border. Here we go. The policy that made it easy to kick out migrants is gone. He inherited the lowest rate of illegal immigration and he immediately reinstated cash and release. And so when they apprehend people, they let them go. I'll reverse Trump's detrimental asylum policies. Strong stuff, because since taking office, Joe Biden, who as president has, remember, the statutory and executive authority to shut down the border, has done everything he can to open that same border to illegals and so-called asylum seekers. Remember, within Joe Biden's first month of taking office in 2021, he signed nearly three dozen executive orders, weakening the border and rescinding the policies that Donald Trump had put in place during his first term of office to secure that border. And really, who's surprised here? I mean, remember, during a Democratic primary debate in 2019, the candidates were asked to raise a hand if they supported decriminalizing illegal border crossing. Nearly every single one did, including our man, Joe Biden. Raise your hand if you think it should be a civil offense rather than a crime to cross a border without documentation. <laughs> can we keep the hands up so we can see them? Uh and indeed, it's not hard to think that Democrats believe illegal aliens, not American citizens and lawful res residents, are the left's true priority. Don't take my word for it. Listen to Senator Chris Murphy here. He's an official Biden campaign surrogate, and he's gone and said the quiet part loud. The negotiation didn't have a path to citizenship. It was entirely on their terms in order to get Ukraine funding, right? Well, I mean, Chris, that's been a failed play for 20 years. So right. you are right that that has been the Democratic strategy for 30 years, maybe. Uh, and it has failed to deliver for the people we care about most, the undocumented Americans that are in this country. Did you hear that? The Democrat strategy has failed to deliver amnesty, a path to citizenship for the people they care most about the undocumented Americans that are in the country. As I always say, when people tell you who they are, believe them.